Hello guys, today we are, we are going to be talking about EV Next, which was uh, for the first time uh, released on version 4.1 and you don't need to add, add extras or nothing, EV Next will be there, but EV is still there as well, just in case. And in this very first early stage, okay? But I have a, bit, a couple of concerns and I would like to share with you that uh, because if you guys don't know, there is a version of uh, Blender which has uh, EV SSGI, which, which means uh, Screen Space GI, okay? It was released, uh, year, I think, years ago, I think so. And this tool has been it's been developed, and recently uh, it was added to the version 3.6.2, and I've been testing that. So, even next works with uh, ray trace, ray tracing, but I think it's based on screen space. And today, I brought I brought a scene to test here in both, in Blender 3.6.2 and Blender. 4.1 EV next so 3.6.2 is not EV, EV next is blender with EV and the add-on uh, screen space GI okay and EV next is the promising EV uh, next uh, the update on EV which is being developed by blender community uh, by the, the blender foundation okay it will be the official EV in Blender soon, okay? But I have concerns because what I've been seeing and I've been seeing people releasing videos saying EV Next is amazing, there is a displacement, this and that. But what I what I really see in the tool when I'm looking in a real file, working with a real file and doing some couple tests, I I don't see as much as good I don't see as good as 3.6.2 with SSGI sincerely it's way worse and uh, I'm sure the the guys from Blender Foundation are, are still working on that I'm sure it's very not polished it's not polished and they will get there but I will show you straightforward the difference and you will you can see how worse if the EV next is compared with EV SSGI 3.6.2 I'm gonna show you right now okay so this is EV next okay first thing that I can notice is uh, it's very splotchy okay we have plots all the, everywhere, okay, in the scene. You see, they, it's it's a kind of they are trying to attempt to get an uh, get some ray tracing, okay, in the scene, and I can tell there is you know lots of lacking of uh, of a. Uh, limiting shadowing so the shadow is going through the geometry a lot and you can see these those things here I don't know exactly what is that you know what I mean still is very noisy you know overall okay now it becomes dark and I don't know why I don't know what is the reason. Let's try to go there again. Okay. So that's EV Next for real. That's what you have now in EV Next. That's EV Next. That's the promising EV Next, which for me at this point in this stage is something that it can be good. It can be something, but. It's pretty bad, right? Right now, it's pretty bad. 
it's still pretty bad. I know it's gonna be better, and I hope so, but that those are my concerns. I'm just brainstorming here, don't worry. Uh, I know this is a work in progress, and this is how it is, okay? Let's render this. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Okay, this is the render with EV next and took eight seconds to render. This scene is I can see that the DJI is happening, you know, is happening. But it's far from a realistic GI, it's far from a nice GI, you know, it's something. You have something lighting in your scene and casting uh, color bleeding, you know, somehow. And you have the lights coming through here, you know. So that's the result of EVMAX. So now let's go for Blender 3.6.2 SSGI. So this is the thing, SSGI, okay? First, if we hit render, we see right away that the result is much, much more consistent, all right? It's much more consistent. Even if you go here and you pass through the light because it's screen space, if you go here, this light stops to cast the GI, however, you have the resource of uh, you have the resource that tells you you can like use um, you can use uh, overcasting, okay, to kind of get a range of uh, out of your camera to make sure that most of the lights will be there, and this is basically happening here where is that in film okay over scan over scan okay you can go over scan so this means that your uh, screen they will they will take in account a bigger range which is out of your screen just to make sure that your lights will be casting DGI or most of your lights okay so Let's render this out and compare both. Okay guys, this is EV in 3.6.2 SSGI. Let's compare both here, all right? So, first of all, EV in 3.6.2 using SSGI, it took four seconds compared with 8 seconds in EVNEX. So EVNEX is twice uh, slower than EV in 3.6.2 with SSGI. Apart from that, if you see all the details here in uh, SSGI EV 3.6, the results are solid. You see how beautiful is this DJI here, the shadows, you see what is happening here, you know? You see, everything is very solid. You don't see lights and shadows lacking or bleeding where it shouldn't be. While here in EVNX, why, why, what is this? I don't know what is this. This is not realistic. There is some GI going on, but you can't compare. You can't compare. It's, it, those are totally different softwares, different quality, right? That's what I'm saying. That's my thought, that's my impression. And that's why I don't go for any uh, presentation if I can't test that, okay? If I can't test that. I have to test and see in real life, in the real project, how it behaves. That's what I believe. And that's what I'm seeing here. Look at this door. Look at this door. Look the difference from SSGI in EV 3.6 to EV Next. EV Next it's not even ready for a preview, you know what I mean? Look at this, what is this, you know? What is this, what is this bleeding here? What is this, I don't, I don't, don't understand, you know? It's not good, it's not good at all, it's far from good, okay? It's far from good, 
look look how the GI look how, how the shadow behaves here look how the shadow this is even next okay this is even next look how the shadows transpass here and here is solid the same thing happened all over the place here okay this the light the shadows here is solid because it's blending with the, the the light the source of light here which is a big source of light and shouldn't be casting those shadows over the shadows you know uh, look at this area here this area here for me is the worst look at this there's no lighting because there's a wall here so the light is blocking the shadow okay and in even x it's passed through you know this area is pretty bad the corners here are more occluded than all the rest like as if the gi was kind of gradiently ramping uh, as it should be you know as it should be and here the same you know this shadow is here because i probably forgot to remove uh, contact shadows which is removed from even x so you don't have contact shadows here and those are the contact shadows probably this light here has a contact shadows and i forgot to remove that but overall look at this look at how soft the the shadows are here and the geometry itself reflections gi you know everything is much better in EV 3.6 SSGI. This image, I, I could deliver this image to a client as a final product, you know? Depending on the client, right? They would like to have an image. Maybe improving the lighting and things, but you know, this quality, it's possible to be delivered as something. And it's being rendered way faster, two times faster than EV Next. So that is the stage on EV Next at this point. So the hype is too much on social medias. There are too much clickbaits on YouTube channels uh, trying to say that the tool is amazing, the tool is awesome. It's not awesome yet. It's just a tool in development. So it's there. Don't be uh, up a hype at uh, imagine that EV Next is a big thing at this point because it's not. But what is a big thing for me is EV SSGI, the add on. On 3.6.2, it's really, really solid. It has limitations, yes. But for lots of things, it can deliver this. You know? I hope you guys like it and I hope that clarifies something to you because for me, what matters is the real practical thing. Test and make side by side and see the difference. The same thing happened with Twinmotion and Unreal Engine. Twinmotion was released by Epic and you have Unreal Engine and in the release of Twinmotion, the new release, it tells that Lumen was uh, incorporated, it was introduced into Twinmotion and everyone there in YouTube is saying that now Twinmotion has Lumen and it is amazing but in my opinion I already tested it's way behind Unreal Engine 5 and I will be showing this in the next video comparing both side by side and you can see that Lumion in Twinmotion is something and in Unreal is something else okay see you guys soon take it easy till next video